Prudence. So a mom wrote to Dear Prudence for advice on how to encourage her cynical daughter to be more open-minded about marriage. Mm. She says her daughter talks about it like it's a prison sentence, <laughs> and mom's worried she's gonna push away the good man that she's currently dating. So. What do you think about this and what advice would you give to this mom? Ooh, this is a little bit hairy. I mean, listen, there's a little bit more detail that we should fill in and that mom has acknowledged that perhaps her own traumatic breakup and divorce from her husband, which is her daughter's father, probably impacted why her daughter feels this way. To which I would say, mom, get off your daughter's case and get yourself into therapy. Mm -hmm. First of all, I, I would like to tell my mother, just tell me directly. You don't have to send it through the social. <laughs> <laughs> um, but to even further your point, this is going to be an uncomfortable truth to go even further. There are a lot of aunties and grandmas and moms out there who are constantly harassing their young daughters to get married. And the rea yeah. Right? You want to clap for it because it's ridiculous. <laughs> and it's, the reality is the reason why they don't want to do what you did is because they don't want your life. Because... You know, you may have fudged it to everybody else in your community, your coworkers, your friends, your neighbors, everybody that you had this great marriage, but your children were there. They had a front row seat to what was really happening. And they have, may have watched you uh, do everything, house, cleaning the house, cooking, doing everything while dad sat back and did nothing. They may have watched, you know, zero intimacy in that relationship and thought to themselves, why would I want to sign up for that? So while you're pushing your daughter to do this thing and she's pushing back, maybe you should just take a look and say, maybe she was looking at me and I wasn't the greatest example of what marriage could be or should be and stop pushing your kids and stop making your daughter feel that she has to center a man in her life to be happy. Yes. That's also a huge issue. Well, I am 49 years old, not married, single, no kids, and guess what? I have a happy and fulfilling life. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Unbelievable. It is possible. <laughs> Actually, I think we need more healthy, critical conversations on marriage, on weddings, because this mm. is about the marriage or the wedding, mm. yeah. but also about all the options we all have in 2024. Mm. That's what's so beautiful, is we don't have to choose marriage if it's not for us, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. I think this is about the mom. She should get married again. Yeah. Well, maybe, <laughs> although so she did it. She's had two failed marriages, the first one to the dad and the second one with the stepfather that was also equally, by her account, traumatic to this daughter. So the daughter's had some things that she's seen, so it obviously has impacted her. I do think I think there is something, at least for some people, <laughs> that marriage, I was afraid of marriage. I'll just admit it. That's why I'm not legally married. To me, it did look a bit like a prison. And that's not because I had a bad example. My parents are happily married over 50 years. They have a great example, lots of balance. But just because some of the notions of like husband and wife and the way that I heard, you know, vows, I, they, there seemed to be a lot of like entering from, going from your parents' rules and then into this other thing that had a lot of rules and boundaries, mm -hmm. which kind of can feel like constricting. And so Jason and I particularly made it our aim to make sure that we give each other freedom and space. I'm not the good wifey. Mm -hmm. I am much to my mother's chagrin at sometimes. Like, I think she's noted, like, aren't you going to do, like, get ready for him when he Even comes in the door? After all these years, after after all these years yes. Yeah. Did she watch the show? And I, <laughs> I, I, I love your mouth. But I, I so I, I, you know, outside of this particular situation, mm -hmm. I think the one other option that we need to give women is the option to be in a steady, long-term relationship where you do show vulnerability, but you also give each each other lots of freedom. That's an option mm -hmm. too. Yeah, there's all options. We love this. We love this. I'm the option to stay single, like uh, my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> hey you, come a bit closer. We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.